Hello everyone. Today I'll be showing you how to program a TCM for a 2012 to 2018 Ford Focus or a 2011 to 2019 Ford Fiesta using Forescan. I will be showing you how to do a complete uh, reprogram and adaptive learn as well as showing you how to obtain a uh, Forescan license and download the drivers and everything. Uh, this will be a very beginner tutorial. This is my first time ever using Forescan personally so some things might not go as smooth as they maybe should have, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to get through this together. Uh, before we get started, I will go over a few things that you'll need. First off, you're going to need a Windows laptop to be able to run Forescan. You will also need a Forescan approved cable. They do have a list of cables on their website that are approved. Just a warning beforehand, some of the cheap knockoff cables that aren't recommended by Forescan have in the past caused people to brick their TCMs. Um, so make sure you're using an approved cable or you might run into issues there. You'll also need a battery tender or a charger to be able to hook up to the battery while you're doing this programming. Uh, there's going to be a lot of time spent with the ignition of the vehicle on but the car not running, so we don't want the battery to die. Uh, the cable that I chose specifically was the V-Gate V-Linker FS. That was $34.99 on Amazon, and there's a link for that below. Uh, there's some setup in this video that pertains specifically to this cable. Uh, if you choose a different cable, you'll have to figure that out on your own. But if you want to follow my guide on this cable, everything's here for you. Um, I'd just like to say that if you perform this, it is at your own risk. I'm not liable for any damages caused by following this guide. Um, entirely at your own risk. Before we get into this, uh, I'd just like to say that this is the process for an entire reprogram and adaptive learn. Uh, if for some reason you only need to do an adaptive learn, some TCMs come pre-programmed. Uh, you can skip to step six if you'd like to just do the adaptive learn. However, doing a complete relearn won't hurt anything. So uh, don't be afraid to use the whole guide if you're not sure what you need to do. So well, uh, let's go ahead and get into this. First thing we need to do is obtain a Forescan license. So we're gonna go ahead and head to forescan.org and go under the products tab and click the link for get the free extended license. Here you're just going to punch in all your information and uh, they will email you the code. Once I get my information punched in here we'll go ahead and hit submit and it'll bring you to another page that explains you'll get the link in about a half hour. Once that time has gone up go ahead and head to your email and open the email from Forescan and go ahead and click the link. It'll open you up to a new page and there you just click that link to download your Forescan license. You don't need to do anything with that just now First, we've got to download the actual Forescan application. So just to, before we do this, I'd like to say we need to download Forescan 2.4, which is actually currently in a beta state. Uh, the Forescan 2.3 is easily accessible on their website, but I wasn't able to find it super quick to get the 2.4 download. So I just went ahead and went to Google and typed in Forescan 2.4 download and clicked on the first link to this Forescan forum. Scroll down a little bit and you'll find the link there and just go ahead and click that to download it. Once it's done downloading, we'll go ahead and click on it to open the link and let the setup wizard open up. All right, and here's our setup. So we're just gonna hit okay and agree to everything and get through this setup. Uh, this is a safe application, so you don't need to worry about any viruses or anything like that. Just go ahead and punch your way through this setup. All right, let's go ahead and hit finish. And now we need to load up our license. So we're gonna go ahead and click this question mark in the bottom left corner and load our license key. Uh, this is where what we downloaded earlier, we're gonna put it in. So we're gonna click this little button here and go through these folders to our downloads. And once I click on that, it'll bring up, eventually it'll show up. There's our four scan license. So we're gonna go ahead and hit okay and uh, go ahead and get that put in there. That concludes this step and let's head on to the next step. All right, now that we've got Forescan downloaded and our license key loaded, it's time to get into some of the cable stuff. So like I said, this is specifically for the cable that I bought mentioned earlier and linked below. So we're gonna go ahead and head to this website. This was on an instruction sheet within the box of the cable. Uh, we're gonna go to this page and we're gonna go ahead and hit the uh, drivers tab and click on this button here and we're going to scroll down. I kind of guessed here, I'm not a super tech nerd, but um, this is the one I thought and it ended up working for me. So that's what I used. It may be the same for you, it may not. 
Um, once we've got that downloaded, I need to input some settings into the Forescan app that are specific to this cable. So we're going to come in here, go to the settings tab and click here. And we want to make sure this says FTDI here. And we want to make sure this says 15.2 here. Also, we need to check the box for auto increase. That's just because this cable comes with an auto switching function between high speed and low speed. Some have a manual switch, but this one's auto. So we'll go ahead and turn auto on for that. All right, this next step has us reading some information from the old TCM before we replace it. We just wanna make sure we can match the information that we're programming onto the new TCM, make sure it's the right stuff uh, for what the old TCM had. So we're gonna hop in here and we're gonna click this uh, connect button down here. That'll connect us to the car. It shows we're still in demo mode here, so we wanna switch that back to regular mode. And we're gonna follow all these warnings throughout the um, process. They're all very important. Just go ahead and make sure you read them, even if I don't necessarily give them the time they deserve. Now it's just gonna take a second to load some stuff up to connect to the car. All right, and now it's asking to just verify this information is correct. Looks good to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit yes here. And then we need to um, go into this little computer chip looking thing, the third one from the bottom here. And this is gonna let us get into the TCM and read some information off of it. So we're gonna pop down here to the bottom here. I clicked up here first, but I was not sure what I was doing yet. So we're gonna go down here to the bottom and open this window and press TCM. And that gets us deeper into this menu and we want to uh, do module firmware update. And uh, this allows us to, like I said, read the information again, read these warnings thoroughly. Once you've done read, once you're done reading them, we'll go ahead and press OK. All right, now it's telling us to turn the ignition of the car off. So let's go ahead and do that and then press OK. And this page shows us some, um, some of the information that we needed for the TCM. Uh, so we want to look through this and we just want to click download here to make sure we can download the most recent firmware um, that's available. Um, and then some instructions I had from Forescan told me to press the program button just to make sure it would let me do it. Um, so I'm going to act like I was going to do it, but I don't actually want to. So at some point I will cancel this out before we do it. I just wanted to make sure that I was able to. All right. And now that we've done that, we can go ahead and pop out of here. Uh, we've, we've gotten everything that we needed. Again, you want to make sure you save that uh, page that had the information for the TCM on it so that you can make sure it matches when you install the new one. All right, now that we've pulled all the old information off, it's time for you to replace the TCM. I'm not going to get into that here. There's some other guides on the internet that go into that, and it's really not that difficult of a job if you're somewhat handy. Um, once you got the TCM replaced, we're going to go ahead and come back, and that brings us to step five, programming our new TCM. This is going to be a pretty familiar process from what we did earlier. We're just going to go ahead and connect the car, and uh, it'll pop up. We want to confirm our information here. Like I said, it should be about the same as what we did earlier. Again, pop into this little computer chip here, and then configuration programming, and we'll pop down here to this window and select the TCM menu. Once we're there, we're going to go to module firmware update, and then we'll go ahead and hit the play button down here to enter this menu. Again, follow all these warnings, and now it's telling us to turn the ignition off. So let's go ahead and turn it off and press OK. This is the same page we want to match up to what we had earlier. Mine did match because I had a pretty current software on my old TCM. If yours doesn't match, um, I would imagine you just have to download the software and program it, but I'm not a whole lot of help because I didn't have to deal with it. But it shouldn't be too difficult. Um, I thought I needed to click download here, but I actually didn't because I had downloaded the software from earlier when I was in with the old TCM. So actually all I need to do is hit program. And uh, let's go ahead and turn the ignition on like it asks us to, not starting the engine though. And again, like I said, always follow these warnings. And now we're programming it. I sped this up a little bit because we didn't need to see it all, but this is really all it takes to program it. And once the loading bar is gone, you're done. All right, now that we've got the right software on our TCM, we just need to do an adaptive learning. This is teaching the vehicle the touch points on the clutches and what gear is what. Um, just kind of getting the TCM familiar with the car. So we're gonna go ahead and pop back in, plug into the car. And we actually want to go click on the little wrench icon. It is the fourth one up on the left menu. Once we're in here, uh, we want to find the TCM and click that. Once we found that, we'll pop down and go ahead and hit the play button. Like I said, always follow the warnings. 
And once we're in here, we're just going to go down and do all five of these. So we'll start with the first one and click it and go ahead and hit OK. And this is just going to have us go through the gears. Once you switch the gear, go ahead and press OK. All right, and it tells us everything is good. It's going to have us go through these gears again one more time just to make sure. All right, and everything's good. So let's go ahead and hit OK and move on to the next step. It says turn the ignition off now. and gives us 45 seconds wait time. Now it's asking us to turn the ignition on and we'll move on to the next uh, programming section. So we'll go ahead and select the second one and press OK and this is going to have us go through the gears once again. All right, and everything checks out, so let's go ahead and hit OK and move on to the third one. This is a step where you're probably going to hear some clicking and stuff. Um, throw the vehicle in park and hold the brake, and then let's hit OK. All right, shift drum is learned, no errors detected. Let's go ahead and hit OK, and it asks us to turn the ignition off. All right, let's turn the ignition on, but do not start the car. And let's move to the clutch adaptive learning. All right, press the brake and put it in park. All right, and now it says turn the engine on and keep it at idle. And now it's going to ask us to hold the throttle wide open. Make sure you got the foot on the brake and the vehicle in park so it doesn't roll anywhere for you. All right, now we can let off the gas and let the engine turn back to idle. Again, just go ahead and follow all these directions. Make sure the AC compressor is off during this. That will mess up the test. All right, tells us everything here. This is actually a helpful page where it tells you how much life is left in your clutches. And once we're satisfied with this information, we can go ahead and hit OK and turn the ignition off. All right, let's go ahead and turn the ignition on, but do not start it. And now let's go to the last one on our list here. And once this is done loading, it'll pop back down to about 50% a couple times. Uh, once this is done, uh, we'll go ahead and hit OK. And we're actually done with all of the TCM programming and learning. And that is all we got for the TCM learning. So let's go ahead and exit here. Um, I actually noticed that I had a couple codes earlier when I was popping through. So I'm going to show you how to get to the DTCs page and read the codes and clear them. Uh, let's just, before I disconnect from the vehicle, we'll pop up here, the yellow triangle. This is allows you to read your check engine lights. This is just stuff related to the programming. So I'm just going to go ahead and clear these codes by pressing the trash can down here and press yes. And then we're done. So pop back here and I can disconnect from the vehicle. And now you're done. All you got to do is take the vehicle for a test drive and make sure it runs good. I hope this video was helpful and educational. There wasn't a whole lot out there, so I figured I'd give it a shot as I attempted my first time. And I'm going to throw my Venmo in the description down below if you felt like this was helpful and you want to send me a couple bucks. I'd appreciate that, but don't feel obligated. I just hope that somebody learned something from this video and I was able to help you guys out. Thank you.